Okay. Um, you're hiking through today, and uh, you're looking for somewhere maybe at night to pitch your tent or hang your hammock. Normally, I, I would bring a hammock with me. It'd be slung in the trees. I would probably be three feet high off the ground sleeping in a hammock with a mosquito net over that and a waterproof tarpaulin hung in the trees. Looking, looking for a, two good trees to hang my hammock and it, you know, you're looking around and as you're looking you see a, a big lump of uh, bear scat on the ground. You move on, you see a big bear print here. You're looking around again for two nice trees and you see more bear scat and you're thinking, oh my God, I can't camp here tonight because look, there's just, to put a final word on it, there's bear shit everywhere. <laughs> okay? But you can't find anywhere where, where there's none. There's, it's, it's everywhere, you know? So you sling, sling a hammock up into the trees, you climb into your hammock and inside in the hammock, you're inside a sleeping bag. Now picture this. You're hung in the trees in a small little hammock over the hammock is a, an enclosed mosquito net, so straight away you're enclosed in this little, very tight little space, you know, kind of like this, you know. You put a sleeping bag over your body, it's kind of like a stray jacket. <laughs> it's a very cold night, so you pull the hood up over your head and you cinch the cord, and you, you only got your eyes poking out through the, the sleeping bag. Your arms are down along your side, you can probably move your legs a few inches, the, the sleeping bag is fairly tight, you know. and uh, during the night time, if you want to get up out of this to go for pee, you've got to wriggle away and toss and turn. And eventually, you'll, you'll get your hand up here near your face where you can wiggle it around and you, you'll find a little toggle that you can pull and the hood will open up on the sleeping bag. And then you can get your arm out there and you can zip open the sleeping bag. And then you do a little bit more wiggling and you eventually get yourself out of the sleeping bag. And when you do that, then you've got to go and you have to look around for your head torch and you stick your head torch on and then you get the, the mozzie net over the, the hammock and you find the little zipper and you open up. What I'm trying to say is it takes a long time at night time to get out of all of this. <laughs> so, close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes and imagine yourself in this type of situation and it's, you're nice and comfortable in there. You can hear the wind blowing by you there. You can, hear the, the trees swaying, and then all of a sudden <laughs> and you hear a few branches snapping. <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> okay? That is very scary. I don't know if it was a bear, I didn't see any animals, but believe me, that's a scary thing. Okay? 